So for the trade of the day today, we're going to be looking at Euro Yen. Um, really nice uh, run up today, uh, straight over that data at 11 o'clock UK time. And then the market hit, hit a bit of a high and started to stall. Where did it stall? Well, these lines here are what we call pivot points. So 130.18, 130.19 was the area there. We found a little bit of resistance here over uh, yesterday during the bank holiday here in the UK. And then as the market then retested that level again this morning, it found resistance and that led to then a short. We're also quite interested in shorts because this red line as well. So effectively, when it comes to trend signals, it's all about the red lines. The more red lines you have, the more bearish we feel about the market, and therefore the more expecting markets to fall. So this basically gives us our context that the markets are more inclined to go down. Red line here and the red resistance line here, 130.20. So let's refer to my 15 minute chart and see how this translates to the short itself. Now, when it comes to trend signal, what we're looking for are those two indicators here changing color. This one here, this one turning here from green to red, this line here. And then also this line at the bottom being above 75, also turning from green to red. So as I move to the next bar, we can see a change in color on my trend signal line and also my vector average line, this one here, changing also. And then that sniper circle giving us that extra hit, just really giving extra confidence to that potential short. So really what we've got here after this data is a short in the direction of that four hour chart. So we've already seen the context, we want to sell it, we then wait for the opportunity, that happens then at one o'clock, sniper circle, indicators turning from green to red, and that opportunity to sell. Remember, see how it's rejected that 130.20 area there? So what about entries? 130.09 is where we're looking to get in. Stop loss. Let's put a stop loss just about here. Let's call it 130. Let's call it 35. So you're looking at a stop loss there of about 26 points. In terms of the target zone, this keeps it really simple. Stop loss, which is, uh, sorry, target wise, we can look at the bottom of this price envelope here. That's 129.00. 41. That's giving us a target there of what, 68 points? That's what, best part of, well, it's just under 3 to 1, isn't it, on that trade? Now, 3 to 1, what does that mean? That means if we risked 100 quid on the trade, that we could make 300 quid if it goes on to make target. If it makes a loss, we lose 100 quid, but if it goes on to be profitable, then we're going to make 300 quid. So that's give or take what we've got there. So let's have a look how this trade pans out. Market moves down quite nicely for the first couple of bars. Remember what we like to do here at Trends, we like to set and forget. So we like to put the trade on, faith in the direction, have faith in the con and confidence in the direction of the move we're looking for. And then here we see the, the market then start to gather pace, move down to my target zone right down here. 129.36 hits my target area there. So after what, two hours of being in the trade, if we missed, risked 100 quid, we were up about uh, 250, 300 quid on that trade there. A really nice move, really easy to identify. Even if you're used to just doing a standard 10 pounds a point on that trade there, a standard 10 pounds a point, 680 quid profit on that trade there in a couple of hours. It's pretty good, isn't it? And it's very easy to identify. The bare bones of it are changing color here, changing color here, and look for prices to go from the red line down to the green line. It's all about reds and green, guys, and we'll teach you how to do it. Okay, thanks very much for listening.